Welcome to the advanced instruction portion of the video. Let's get started. The first technique we're going to do is called Around the World. I'm going to demonstrate it fast and we'll come back and we'll do it nice and slow for you. Looks like this. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I'm throwing an outward strike, catching it under my arm. I'm lifting up and switching arms. When I switch, I start moving in a circle position. I strike, lift up, and switch. Strike, lift up, switch arms and move. Strike, switch arms, strike. Okay, I'm switching arms and I'm moving. Up, strike. Again, let's try that real slow. Strike, lift up, switch arms. Now, before we strike again, let's move to our right. Strike, lift up, switch arms. 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 Strike. Okay, this exercise is great for moving in a circle and for arm switch technique. Okay, you need to practice. This is a very important technique. The next technique we're going to do is called the triple combination strike. It looks like this. We're going to do our inward figure eight block. We're going to lift up, do our outward figure eight strike, and then we're going to bring our rear leg up, and as we step through, we're going to throw our front strike. Remember that from basic instruction? So it looks like this. Block, strike, step through, front strike. Again, watch. Block, up, strike, step through, front strike. One more time. Block, up, strike, step through, front strike. That's another great exercise for uh, dexterity and coordination. The next technique we're going to do is called the round the neck part two. Looks like this. Watch again. One more time. Now, here's how I want you to practice this. I want you to put the knee chucks down between your legs like that. I want you to open your hands like this and reach down and grab them and pull them up to the groin area. Then I want you to let loose with the right hand bring it around the neck with the left arm, and then come back up to this position. Okay, watch again. Down and catch. Watch. Catch, up, and around. One more time. Catch, and around the neck. All right, let's try that. Ready? Down and catch, up and around the neck. Down and catch, up and around the neck. All right, that's called the round the neck, part two. Now, the next technique we're going to do is called alternate double strikes. And it'll look like this. I'll be striking with my left arm, I'll pull it back and strike with my right. Very simple. Now the knee chucks are just hanging off my back, you see? They're just hanging loose back there. So it's strike, pull it back. Strike, pull it back. Strike, pull it back. Strike, pull it back. Now, Here's what I want you to practice. I want you to practice doing that in a circular motion. Okay? So it's strike, pull it back, strike, pull it back. All the way around in a circle. One more time. You just strike, strike, strike. Alrighty? One more time in a circle. Strike, pull it back, strike, pull it back. Strike, 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 and strike. Okay, that's called the alternate double strike. The next technique we're going to do is called the double single overhead strike, and it looks like this. My right leg is forward. The right knee chuck is under my right arm. The left one is hanging off my back. Now I'm going to bring both arms out, and I'm going to throw a double strike. We're striking at the same time. Remember the baseball technique we did? Same thing. We break our wrist right in the center. 
but this time keep them parallel and it's a double strike. Now, this is a double strike. Hold it right here and pull the right one back. Then we do a single strike. Strike, pull it back. Strike, pull it back. Strike, pull it back. Strike, pull it back. And then we go overhead. Strike, pull it back. Strike, pull it back. Strike, pull it back. Okay, let's do it again. Double strikes. Pull it back. Single strikes. Strike, pull the check back. Strike, pull it back. Turn your hips a little bit on this one. Strike, pull it back. Strike, pull it back. Overhead, strike, back, strike, back. Now, here's how I want you to practice it. I want you to practice your double strikes, again, moving in a circular position. Then I want you to practice your single strikes, moving again in the circular position. In the overhead, we've already done that. We moved again in the circular position. As you become more advanced, you'll be able to mix them up. Single strikes, overhead strikes, double strikes, single, overhead. That's it for the advanced instruction. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tape. If you like the tape, let us know about it. We'll do another one for you. Until next time, keep swinging. Again, thanks for watching the Chuckas video. Because of the tremendous response we had from this video, we went ahead and produced two more Chuckas tapes, Chuckas 2 and Chuckas 3. What we're doing in Chuckas 2 is we're taking the basic and advanced techniques that you learned in this tape, and we're simply adding footwork so that you can now do kata training. What I'd like to do for you right now is the Blitz 2 kata, a kata that you'll learn in the next video, so that you can see what swinging techniques and footwork look like when they're done in combination. I'll do this uh, kata at medium speed. In addition to this kata, you'll be learning two more katas on the Chuckas 2 video. One will be a little bit easier, the other one is a little more difficult. The Chuckas 3 tape is out right now also. On that tape, we're teaching double nunchuck exercises and the kata. The American style nunchaka is open up to all karate styles and consists of these three videos. Thanks a lot. See you next time.